Hey guys, today I have a Lego review for you today. It is on the Lego City Fun in the Park City People Pack. It is set number 60134. It contains 157 pieces. It is recommended from age, for ages 5 to 12. And so yeah, let's get right into the review. It comes, since it is a minifigure based set, it has 14 minifigures plus a baby. So let's get right into it. So, the first thing you get is this boy in his wheelchair. I really like his jacket and his beanie that he is wearing. And I love this wheelchair. The brown piece, or whatever color, the, well, the main piece is just one piece, and then you just snap on these three wheels, and then he's all set to go. And the handles are at a certain angle, so the minifigure can get up and push the wheelchair. I love that this thing rolls. It rolls just great. The next thing you get is this man selling hot dogs at his hot dog cart. So, here's the man. I will, He's holding some tongs in one hand. There's his hat. This is a really cool face. And now let's take a look at the hot dog cart. It does have two wheels, so you can it can roll. It has some handles back here so that he can push the cart. There's the umbrella. They just used a... Five stud long aerial and a four by four parabola. And right here is a ketchup and mustard dispenser. And right next to that is the new hot dog bun piece. Now that is really cool. And if you lift this up, there's actually a hot dog in there. Except for the umbrella just broke off. If I try and fit the hot dog inside that hot dog bun, Fits in just fine. So I'm going to put the hot dog back in there. Because if you lift it up, you can see there's space. And then put it back on. Mine actually came off. And I took off the umbrella so you guys can see a little better. Alright. So now, I will show you what you get next in the set. So next here is this merry-go-round. There's a little kid on it. He has, real, he has kind of weird hair. Um, I do like that hair piece though. It's pretty cool. Um, I believe it is new. I don't have any other hair pieces like that. I like the merry-go-round because it is it's a very simple build. It's a very, very simple build. But it works. Cause you can see if I set it on my table here. It spins. But it's a little hard because I'm holding the camera in one hand. Next up you get these two mini figures that are picnicking and the picnic table. So, the older man is the man is holding a croissant in one hand, and the little girl is holding an apple in one hand. And then you have the picnic table. It can see up to four minifigures. It has a little food basket on it, which I do not have any of those. I don't know if that's a new piece or it's a new piece for me, but I don't know about you guys. And you can see you can seat up to four minifigures. The girl will have to be standing on the bench because she, because she's a little kid. And she can't sit. Well, little kids can sit, but not in the Lego form. You know what I mean. So, you can fit up to four minifigures on the benches, and then two can stand around the outside. So you can technically have a picnic of six at this table. Now we get to one of my favorite parts of the set. My very favorite part was the boy in the wheelchair. This is my second favorite part. It's the stroller and the baby. So, let's take a look at the stroller first. It's pretty basic build, if you think about it. I never would have thought of building a stroller this way, though. And here is the Lego baby. It has a smaller head than all minifigures, and the body is a lot smaller. The arms do not move, but I did not expect them to. To move... And you can just set the little baby in the stroller like that. And there's a handle up here so that someone can come and push the stroller. Next up, we have this mom holding a baby bottle. Now, I don't have any pieces like this baby bottle. You guys might, but I do not. I do like her hair piece. That is a new hair piece for me. And what's weird, I, I just wish Lego would have tried to make this baby bottle a little more to scale. Because um, if I get the baby, he's as big as the bottle. So I understand that Lego couldn't really have done that without um, taking off the little handle there. But still, 
I feel like they could have done a teeny bit better with that. Because I don't think it had to have a handle. All you needed was for it to be able to... Yeah. I wish that was a little more to scale. Was the o That's the only problem with this set that I have. That's the only thing I wish LEGO would have done. But once again, like I said, it, the mom wouldn't have been able to hold it. Because, yeah. Next up, you have this woman painting a fence. She has a paint roller in one hand. I just love how her clothes have paint, uh, paint splattered all over them. And she's holding a paint roller. Then you have this fence and this paint bucket. She's pretty cool. And... Like, I don't have any pieces with the paint all over the clothes. That's oh, like the torso and the pants. That's really cool. In my opinion, that's really, that's really, really cool. Next up, you have this girl mowing the lawn. It's a girl or a woman, and she has a lawnmower in her hands. Like, she's pushing a lawnmower, and it also has these two trees. Like, I just love that Lego added these trees. It just gives it, it seems to give it more, it seems to make it, it makes it more realistic. You know? It's just a two by two round plate for the base, even though we didn't we didn't put these together, but it's the area of a two by two round plate. Onto the lawnmower. It's very basic. The wheels actually do not turn unless you make them. Turn like if you roll it, the wheels don't turn. But it still kind of rolls because of the shape of the wheels. But yeah, so let's move on to the next thing. Next you have this boy riding his bike. This is a red bike, which I really do like. It's, it was like most bikes, though, where you had to, like, pry open these bars to get it in. It's not like a, the motorcycles where you slide in the wheels. And there's just a one-by-one round stud on the front as a as a light. And the boy can just fit on there. All right. He's supposed to be a kid, but you can't have a kid uh, Lego figure on a bike. The legs are too short. So that is the boy riding his bike. Next up, you have this businesswoman. And this bus stop sign. I love this businesswoman. It's just she's so cool. Love how professional she looks. She has an opening briefcase. I do not have this hair piece out of Lego. I don't believe I have this shirt or these pants either. And the bus stop sign, I like this because it's just two pieces. It's this piece, which is new for me. And there's this new printed piece too. I love the print on it. It's just so cool. Next, you have these two kids playing soccer. There's just a basic Lego soccer ball, and here is the soccer net. Now, the ball is too big to go through the soccer net, which I do not mind at all, because then I can just store it right there. And I think using that windshield piece, which is a new piece for me, was a great idea. Great move. It's just a 1x6 tile, this windshield piece, and a 2x6 plate. They should, they should go together. Like that. Here is the grandma and the grandpa. And I realized one thing I forgot to mention earlier. The the guy holding the croissant was actually a dad. So, yeah. That is the grandma. I love that hair piece. It's in white. And there's the grandpa. That hair piece is pretty cool as well. I have a few of them, but probably not in that color. And this hair, the grandma's hair piece is just awesome. Next up, you have this dog. It is just so adorable. It's not a new mold, but it's a new print. So, yeah. It's just a dog. It's really cool. And last but not least, you have this bench. And a bouquet of flowers. And some flowers. So, the grandma is supposed to be sitting on the bench. But I don't have her like that right now. Because that's just how it shows it on the box. I, didn't, I don't set it up like it shows in the box. I only build it like shows in the instructions and then yeah it's a very nice bench it works and i the, I, I was surprised when the one by six plate was in the front because usually on a minifigure benches it's in the back but i like it that it's in the front because then they can hook on better so yeah that about wraps up the review for the lego city from the park city people pack i really hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, what are your thoughts on the set will you end up buying it what are your thoughts on the set who's your favorite minifigure what's your least favorite thing about it what's your favorite thing about it be sure to share all your thoughts in the comment section below